All changes on the way, some more rain perhaps. Yeah, maybe within uh, the next 24 hours as a little system comes our way out of Mexico. More on that in a minute. Let's take a look live outside right now, though. We're looking at a little bit of sunshine finally getting through the clouds today. We've had considerable cloudiness, at least in the uh, metro area. A little more sunshine out in the hill country. 54 degrees in Austin at this hour. At 8 o'clock tonight, down to about 50 with partly cloudy skies. Clouds should start thickening up again late tonight with an overnight, not an overnight low, but a 10 p.m. temperature of about 47. Our overnight low will end up down in 40 to 42 degree range, so cold again first thing in the morning. Out in the hill country right now, 48 in Lano and up in San Saba. 46 in Lampasas is actually the coolest reading. 51 is up and down Highway 281 there from Marble Falls down to Blanco. And here in the metro counties, low and mid 50s. Georgetown's coming in at 54. Taylor, you're 53, 55 down in Buda. And off to the east, 54 in Elgin. 55 degrees in Smithville and in Bastrop and in Austin. It is 54. And skies are partly cloudy, mostly cloudy. It is 54 degrees also out at the airport. Winds are variable at 5 in the city. Still have a northeasterly wind blowing at 13 miles per hour out at ABIA behind that front that moved in late last night. Sunset. 614 tonight. Ought to be a pretty one, at least in uh, many locations. Mole count today, medium, and Elm 91 medium. Ash showing up now, and Cedar at a low count, same as uh, yesterday. In fact, I think it went up a little bit yesterday. I have to check that. I think it was maybe 15 instead of 11. No big deal, right? I'm a stickler for details. 45 up in uh, Dallas, 48 in uh, Abilene. Uh, from here to the coast, 50s to low 60s. Cooler across the state today. You can blame the clouds and some rain down in the valley for the cooler temperatures there along the coast. Uh, this moisture being sent our way ahead of our next upstream storm system shows up real well in the water vapor image. Look at that spinning there off the Baja Peninsula. This low is uh, very interesting. Uh, it's not coming straight at us. It is going to move not only down the Baja uh, to Cabo, now looks like the low is going to go all the way down to Puerto Vallarta before it begins to lift to the northeast. Now, that is so far south that we will get. Get some overrunning moisture and rain out of it, but probably not very much over the next a couple of days. Now, the southern branch of the jet stream we've been talking so much about that's been very active, it will carry a couple more storm systems much closer to and across Texas uh, after this system through the weekend into next week. So we've got more rain coming. You might be surprised at the seven day forecast here in a minute. But the clouds will begin to thicken up uh, tonight and tomorrow will be overcast. Could see some patchy light rain develop in the area tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow. Night, then again through the day on Friday. Kind of patchy stuff around here, not anything uh, real organized. And when it is persistent, it will be on the light side, so we're not looking at a lot of rain accumulation out of this next system. Uh, temperatures tonight. 30s rural areas, low 40s in the city, so cold again tomorrow, tomorrow morning. And then with the increasing cloud cover, that's going to lock our temperatures in in the 50s uh, during the day, so another cool day. All those 70s in January, now we can't break out of the 50s. 42 tonight, overcast, uh, skies late. Tomorrow, overcast in 59. Could even see a rain shower. Chance during the day is only about 20% tomorrow, up to 40% tomorrow night. 60% chance of mainly light rain on uh, Friday. 20% chance on Saturday will kind of be between systems. And then a better chance Sunday, Monday, a little break on Tuesday, then another system, middle of next week. But we may be back to the low 70s by then. Cycle.